Hey there, what's up in it? Welcome back, welcome to episode 14 of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold, a mono bug, and uh, last time we apparently got an old man's number, just kidding, that's this time. Uh, last time we caught two new Pokemon, we're really starting to round out our Pokemon team, full of wonderful, wonderful bug types. We got us a Pineco, followed by a Heracross, and even though last episode was lucky number 13, I think these guys only fight you at night and it's morning? Yeah. Um, even though it was lucky number 13, we ended up catching that Heracross super, super quick. Uh, this would be a good reason. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not superstitious. I'm not a superstitious person. I didn't really think that episode, uh, episode 13 was going to be a problem. But, uh, okay. Level, this guy outlevels me by five levels. He just lowered my defense. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch out. Um... Forgive me if I'm a little slow today. Forgive me, because I'm doing I'm doing something not normal. I'm doing a morning commentary. I actually just woke up. I decided to go down for a nap around midnight last night, and that's yeah, sure, whatever you can wake up. I decided to go down for a for a nap last night around midnight, and that's way way early for me to go to bed. I normally go to bed around six or seven a.m. Sometimes eight, and. It ended up being a full night's sleep. I woke up at like 10.30, so... That's that's a surprisingly like normal sleep schedule for me. Now, Golden Route, I think... I think this is where Whitney is, am I wrong? I believe this is Whitney's town. And, uh... That means we're gonna have to basically grind up... Uh, Mr. Heracross here, Mr. Kawanger. Cause... He should be the only... The, really the only defense we have against Miltank. We might be able to like throw out picks and then... Put Miltank to sleep, or maybe use uh, use Zoidberg to to give it the uh, paralysis, and then just beat it up with Brick Break. Although I would imagine she probably has full restores, or maybe not full restores, maybe like Hyper Potions or something. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So here's the department store. These are always sweet, and we're gonna have to restock on Pokeballs anyway because <clears throat> Kuanger ended up taking up a lot of Pokeballs. Let's see. Are we good on? Does it not tell you how many you have of these in your inventory? That sucks. I don't know. Maybe, may, oh, maybe if you click on them. Potion. Yeah, okay, that'll tell you how many you have in the bag. Alright, we could probably use some super potions. Let's grab, like, trade them. We do not have a lot of money, Jesus. Um, I did forget that I've been sending money off to my mom. So, I probably have less than I normally would at this point in the game. But we could definitely use some great balls, and that's going to be pretty much all of my money right there. Oh boy. Uh, let's see if we have anything to sell. Actually, that would be that would be helpful. Uh, whoa, not really. No. God damn, we have no items. God damn. Yeah, we ain't got nothing. Uh, I guess we'll get rid of an X Defend. Two hundred seventy-five bucks. Poke dollars is actually actually a pretty good amount right now. Uh, wow, that is bad. Okay. Well, well, we'll figure out a way to get some more money later. I guess we'll, uh, once we get fly, hopefully we'll be able to fly around and collect a whole bunch of, uh, rematches, but... I don't know. Should I stop sending money to my mom? Because so far she hasn't really sent me shit. Golden Rod City Game Corner, a safe and sound playground. Oh! I just remembered! This game has Voltorb Flip! That is the best- Voltorb Flip's the best mini game of all time. I'll tell you that right now. Voltorb Flip is so fun, because it actually was, like, engaging. It wasn't like- Like, in every other game, it has the slot machines, and then in, uh, in subsequent games, it didn't even have anything. But, like, the slot machines, you know, I, I guess they were controversial, because fucking- It was gambling for children. It's, I don't really care about that. All I care about was that doing slots is boring. I hate doing slots. Even if you find the one where it wins a whole lot, I don't care. It's just not fun. Voltorb Flip, actually fun. It's an active game. Oh, with a radio tower. What do you want to pass? Blah, 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 blah. Shut up. Um, I don't know. Let's go to the radio tower. See what's up. What up? What up? Nope. I don't think there's any. Oh, is this Whitney? Hi. Hi, my name is Whitney. I heard about the quiz you win a radio card, so I came here to get one. But this quiz is so hard. Yeah, it's probably like, uh, fucking Pikachu is electric type. True or false? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's try the quiz. First question. Can you check the town map of your gear? Yes. You're correct. Nidorator can only be female. Uh, yes. Uh, Kurt, the Pokeball creator, uses apricot. No, it's apricorns, jack off. 
Stupid. It's impossible to use a TM on Magikarp. True? I believe so. Okay. And Professor Oak's popular show, Pokemon Talk, is he on with Marie? Fuck, I don't know. I don't watch TV. Even in Pokemon, I don't watch TV. Sure, whatever. Ah, oh, suck my... Ah, oh, it was totally 50-50 guess. Okay, fine. Try the quiz. I think the, the uh, it's all the same questions. Yes, yes, no, yes, no. Hooray, I win! Yeah, it was really tough, Whitney, especially because they let you take it again and they don't change the questions. Idiot. How dumb are you? Wow, you did it! I thought the answer to the third question was surely apricots. It's not. Oops. Time to go back to the gym. Whatever. Okay. So, hey, Marie. Oh, oh, it's Mary. That's what. Oh, uh, okay. Fucking ruse ass question that was. What a ruse ass question that was. God, that was. What a troll. What a troll. Okay, so, let's see. Not that I would have known anyway. Blue cards, what? What's up, Buena? You ready to put Buena's password? Get done with the password of the program, yada yada. I don't really care. Alright, I don't care about this. Can you actually get anything good from this? I, I do not remember this at all, this blue card point prize thing. I don't, I don't know anything about this. Hi Clefairy, how are you? Or whatever the hell you are. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Jigglypuff. My bad. Of course it's Jigglypuff. It's much more round than a Clefairy. I can't tell, man. I'm a Pokemon racist. They all look the same to me. Uh, let's see. I don't think we're gonna go for Whitney yet today. We're just gonna keep looking around Goldenrod. Yeah, she is definitely the gym leader here. She's the one with the, the, uh, gym that's, uh, shaped like a Clefairy. Oh, the Name Raider! Did we have somebody whose name we wanted to change? I don't think so. We could potentially change Pix, because we found out Pix, the namesake of Butterfree, is actually a guy, not a female as I originally thought, but eh, I like Pix's name. We'll come back to the name raider if we ever need it, but... Ugh, excuse me. Ugh, early morning. And by early morning, I mean 11 p.m. or 11 a.m. rather. That's not very early. Ooh, a flower shop. I think we can get the, uh, Whelmer Pale here. Hello, an odd tree. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, it's like a side... Oh, it's too dangerous. Oh, uh, <laughs> you won't give me a fucking watering can. I think it's actually a side up watering can, but you won't give me a fucking watering can because it's too dangerous. I have to prove myself to earn a friggin' watering can. Wow. Okay, then. I'm gonna help you Pokemon, yada yada. Okay, whatever. And then I guess we're just gonna have to go out and... Do I have a bike yet? No. I don't know why I thought I might have had a bike. I think the bike shop is actually in this city? Hello? Oh, she's pretty good at mechanics. Well, I, yeah, whatever. You can tell me I'll listen to the radio. Okay. How about you? You got anything for me, bub? Let's see this letter from the other day. She's on Route 31? Yeah, sure. Wait, what? My party's full? Your letter's going to take up a party slot? What a jack off. Think about somebody besides yourself for a change, man. I got Pokemon to train up. I can't be carrying around your shit. Oh boy, this is a fire type. That's not good. We don't have anything to resist this yet. This is why I think we're gonna have to put Shuckle on our team. Uh, I think we're not really gonna have a choice aside from Shuckle. If he's gonna... Oh, why'd you roar out Hungry Man? What a... of all the Pokemon you could have roared out? You roared out fucking Hungry Man. Jesus Christ. Um. What was I saying? Uh, we're pretty much gonna need Shuckle, because he's the only type that isn't weak against... He's the only bug type, rather, that isn't weak against, uh, against fire. Fire, specifically, that... Well, fire, and I think flying, aside from Caesar. Uh, he's... Caesar. Oh, this guy's the guy who took the picture. Um, so Caesar does, uh, it does take neutral damage from, <clears throat> excuse me, from flying. Whereas, um, Shuckle takes neutral damage from both flying and fire, but Caesar's actually double weak to fire, so, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna need something, basically, we're gonna need something for him. Um, but yeah, keep it up with the defense crawl, it's real good, it's a real good kid. So, Shuckle's the only thing that, uh, available before the National Pokedex that will take neutral damage from fire attacks. Now, there is Anorith and Armaldo, who would be friggin' amazing in this run, but unfortunately, we won't have access to them. Ooh, you just hit me with a rock. 
You know, just a rock type. Oh, yeah, he's got the rollout. Oh, I just realized Whitney has rollout, too. Oh, shit, he's not dead. What he's saying? There you go. Wanger's getting levels. Let's go, baby. Ah, oh, shit, we just had a phone call and I missed it. Whoopsie. Uh, we're just about done this episode as well. Oh, wow, Diglett just got rocked. See you, bud. Oh, no, the supersonic. Get through. No, I never get through. I never get through supersonic. I always hit myself at least once. Astonished. Ah, I'm so astonished. Jesus. Ah, gotcha. Kuanga's a boss. Just take out all those dudes that are higher level than him. He don't give a shit. Okay, now we got this magician coming up. Probably heal a bit. I don't know. Do I even want to use any of my potions or do I want to run back? I'm just going to run back to town, guys. That'll be it for this episode. We will head for Whitney. Oh, okay. We have another. Oh, I thought. It, I don't know why I thought they were a double battle. Oh, shit. It's Pikachu. Shit. Let's see if maybe... Let's go, go into Zoidberg. Yeah, get that resist off. Stun Spore Bliss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's go into Peter. It's probably our best, best bet right now. We get the Leech Life combined with the Shell Bell Heals. Oh no, he's got the Static. I didn't know this was a contact move. Shite. Okay. The Nightshade. Nightshade again. Peter might drop. Nope, okay, Peter lived. Anyway, now we're going to sign off. Next uh, week on Monday, we're going to be going for Whitney. That should be fun. And uh, by fun, I mean it's going to be incredibly dangerous. First, we're going to have to get some levels on Kuanger, definitely. He's got a few levels so far, but he's definitely going to need some more so that he learns Brick Break whenever that is. I'll look up when that is, but... Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Black Light Attack. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did indeed enjoy, and I will see you guys for more Pokemon goodness next time. Goodbye.